What's up guys, Shane aka Musty Yeti here. Today is going to be a video where we discuss a uh, optic sent to me by Attaball Sights. This is the modern rifle optic uh, component which is better known as MROC. This is a constant 3 power. If you guys follow me on Instagram you saw that Attaball did send me uh, three different optics, uh, two scopes and this constant 3 power. Um, I'm going to be doing a review on all of those but it's going to take me some time to review those so they're going to be spanned out here over a course of time. Um, but if you guys are watching this video, you saw the title. The question is, is this worth your money, and is this the ACOG killer? Uh, let's flip the camera around. Let's talk about this in a little bit more detail and answer that question a little bit later on. Alright guys, so here is a closer look at the Attaball MROC. Before we get talking about the optic itself, I want to discuss Attaball just a little bit. The company in the uh, grand scheme of things is uh, a pretty new player on the block. Uh, but they are really growing in popularity uh, for their clear glass and great optics at a great price. Uh, I know a lot of their stuff on um, Optics Planet is pretty much selling out as soon as it goes in stock. So that tells you right there um, how good their stuff is and at a price point it comes in at. Um, they are themselves pretty much changing the game in regards to optics and scopes. Uh, because of Attaball offering their lifetime warranty, you'll now see a bunch of other companies, uh, their competitors that are now offering lifetime warranties just to compete with them. And also they're the first ones I believe to offer um, a really well priced 1 to 8 scope. And now you'll see another company, a competitor of theirs doing a 1 to 8 scope. So they're really ahead of the game and having other guys kind of chase them to, to keep up with what they're doing. Um, you'll even see, I think, Attaball, and hopefully by the time this video goes out, if you guys are watching this in the future, Attaball's doing a thing where you can send in their 1 to 8, uh, send in anyone else's 1 to 8 scope for a credit toward their 1 to 8. So that's a really cool uh, thing to have if you guys want to pick up a new, really top level 1 to 8 scope, uh, because that's the one I have in my gun room here. Uh, that you guys can trade in your old one and get a new one that's going to be fantastic. So let's, like I said, that's a little bit of the company. Let's talk about the Attaball uh, MROC itself. So this thing does sell for about $325 on Optics Planet and has around four and a quarter stars, uh, which is really good. Anything above four I'm happy with uh, because you know how people online tend to leave uh, negative reviews about just stupid stuff um, like their... Their microfiber cloth included wasn't four by four inches, it was only two by two. They just have the dumbest complaints. So anything above four I'm happy with. So that's a really good rating on Optics Planet. Um, inside the box, you get the optic itself, obviously. You get the included CR2 battery and a cleaning cloth for the lens up front if you want to. Like I said before, this has a three power magnification, which is fixed. The objective lens is 32 millimeters. The eye relief back here at the rear is a really comfortable 2.8 inches. Inside we have a BDC ballistic chevron reticle which can be illuminated red. It does take, like I said before, a CR2 battery uh, which is included. Uh, the CR2 battery does offer 600 hours of battery life so that's really good there. Its adjustable click value is 0.5 MOA. It weighs about 14 ounces. Its overall length is 5.11 inches. We have a 37 inch field of view at 100 yards. That's right guys, 37 inches but we'll talk about that more a little bit later. Uh, this thing is fog proof, shock proof, and waterproof. Uh, the parallax is set for 100 yards. Its lenses are fully multi coated. And lastly, it comes with Attaball's lifetime warranty. All right, now let's talk about those specs in a little bit greater detail and kind of my thoughts on it. I first want to mention the feel of this optic. Right out of the box, when I pulled it out, it immediately felt uh, rugged and durable. Um, I'm assuming it's constructed out of aluminum, so very strong and light. Um, it's no wonder this thing is fog proof, shock proof, and waterproof uh, because it just feels like a brick house. Uh, the Airmark feels like it will well outlast you, and I don't think you guys will have anything to worry about in regards to the build quality or the life uh, expectancy of this optic. Right out of the box, guys, the Airmark can be mounted to your AR with no extra cost to you guys having to buy a mount. I believe they recommend that you place this uh, Airmark as far back on the receiver as you can, and when you tighten these things down, you should do hand tight on these hex cap screws. Uh, now, I'll admit that I did do hand tight, and I did get a pair of pliers and just do a quarter turn more just to be safe. Um, I did not run into any issues with the backup site. As you can see, there's plenty of room there for it to, um, to be installed without any issues. So you definitely don't have to worry about uh, taking off your backup sites when installing the MROC. You guys also might notice this uh, Picatinny rail section at the top. Edible includes this right out of the box so you can attach a red dot or anything you think is necessary on the top of the MROC. 
I found a really good use for this uh, Picatinny mount by mounting my GoPro session with that sidekick mount to really give me a different uh, camera view when uh, going out to the range. This can be easily removed if anyone doesn't find it necessary, but either way it's really nice that Edible includes that right out of the box at no extra cost. On the outside guys, we have some windage and elevation turrets. On this side, we also have the battery compartment down here that does house that CR2 battery. You guys might also notice a really, really nice feature on the Imrock, these leashed uh, turret caps. You can see here, these little cables connecting everything. You can now make adjustments or replace the battery without an ounce of fear that you're gonna lose a cap. That's a really small feature that makes a big difference for me and I'm really glad to see that Adaval went ahead and added that to the Imrock. Like I said before, we have an eye relief back here of 2.8 inches, which gives you plenty of wiggle room to get behind this optic and get a good clear shot of your reticle and your target. I did several quick acquisition drills and I was really impressed with how quickly and easily I was able to acquire my reticle and my target. With some optics that have magnification and a smaller eye relief, it's more difficult to get that really clear view, uh, but with the MROC that comes easily with that nice uh, comfortable eye relief back here. Uh, once you guys get lined up, you're going to be shocked with the clarity of this glass. Guys, the glass here is truly insane. Um, I can't imagine it being possible to be clearer than what I see when looking through the MROC. Um, everything is super crisp. There's absolutely no warping of any kind. And this is in part due to the multi-coated lenses that reduce the glare, reflection, and also um, enhance the image. Uh, with the MROC, you just get a really, really good sight picture. With that super clear glass, you have a really good looking ballistic reticle uh, with that clean and easy to use chevron at the top. I'll be sure to roll in some B-roll here of the reticle so you guys can check it out. Uh, they do recommend that you sight this thing at 100 yards, which I did, and it was really easy. Again, those leash caps made it easy to keep track of my caps while adjusting the turrets. Uh, I can't tell you guys how many times I've lost caps out of the range. Uh, the battery cap, windage, and elevation are sealed with rubber O-rings as well to prevent any sort of moisture or water from leaking in, so that's a really nice feature. Uh, once you remove the uh, caps, you guys can see that we do have some tool-free turrets. Uh, they are easy to read and they're easy to adjust. As you guys can see, the markings are all clear and marked with directions. The turrets have some really nice texturing, guys, to really make it easy to get a nice good grip when you're turning those dials. Also in adjusting, guys, uh, it's nice and audible between the clicks, and it's also a really nice physical definitive click between each setting as well. Once set in, you guys can start using their ballistic Chevron reticle. At the top, we obviously have the uh, Chevron reticle, which some of you might find familiar. Uh, below that, we have hash marks for bullet drop compensation for 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, and even 800 yards. This reticle is calibrated for 556 five, specifically, guys, so remember that. Uh, with this Chevron, we have six levels of illumination. On the side here, we have the turn dial for illumination. Just like the uh, windage and elevation turrets, it's audible and it's a nice, clear, physical uh, definition between illuminations. One really nice feature of the MROC is it has an offsetting between each level of illumination. For those of you who might think that's a bad thing, it just makes it that much easier to shut this optic off and then get right back to your preferred illumination setting. 
I used that feature a lot. It was really nice going out the range, setting it to a, you know, a six or whatever. And then when I want to set it down, I just flick it to off and come right back to six. I don't have to go back there and cycle through one through six all over again. So that's a really nice feature for those of you who think it's uh it's something that's not necessary. It's a really cool feature that I'm glad Attaball added to the MROC. Lastly, on the illumination, I know I mentioned before, but we do get up to 600 hours of battery life with that CR2 battery that is included, which is more than enough for the average shooter. All right, so we've discussed that super clear glass that comes with the MROC. We've also discussed that Chevron reticle with the ballistic drop uh, with ranging out to 800 yards. And that's all good, but what really makes this uh, sight really, really nice, apart from that super clear glass, is the field of view. Like I mentioned before, this has 37 inches at 100 yards, and that is the biggest, the largest field of view of any uh, three power scope on the market. Uh, so with that, you're just gonna see a lot more when looking down uh, this optic. And that really could be the difference between seeing a threat and not. And what I really noticed it, it's nice. Uh, we have our steel targets at 25, 50, 100, 150, and 180. And being able to uh, transfer between those or transition between those targets is a lot easier with that really wide uh, field of view. If this if it was really narrow, it'd be really hard to um, acquire those targets when moving quickly. So with that really wide angled, it's really nice to be able to transition from targets. And again, just one thing that makes this MROC a really nice three power optic. The MROC here weighs in at 14 ounces. Now this definitely isn't the lightest on the market in regards to optics, but if you guys are in the market for this kind of magnification, weight really shouldn't be a concern of yours. And honestly guys, I really didn't notice the weight because uh, the MROC is so far back on my upper receiver. This is my first three power optic and I'll admit, I'm definitely still adjusting to it when uh, transitioning from longer ranges to shorter ranges. Uh, but when you combine that 2.8 inch eye relief, the 37 inch field of view, the ballistic Chevron reticle, and it's crystal, crystal clear glass, it makes shooting this three power really easy. If you're in the market for a three power optic, I really don't see the need to look anywhere else or spend more money on optics that offer similar features or in some cases with more expensive optics, they even have less options in regards to illumination and reticle features. <coughs> ACOG. <coughs> As you guys can see, I am a huge fan of the MROC. I've truly, truly enjoyed shooting this thing. Uh, friends have enjoyed shooting it. Family have enjoyed shooting it. This is just a great all around three power optic. And now to answer the question, is this the ACOG killer? I'm gonna say yes. I don't see the point in going out there and spending 600, 500 plus bucks on an optic that does the same as this, or in some cases even has less features than what this thing has. Uh, like I said, the glass is amazingly clear, guys. I really can't say it enough. And for 325 bucks, uh, you really can't go wrong with this thing. So yeah, if you guys are in the market, definitely check it out. You will not regret it. This gets the Must Yeti stamp of approval. So if you guys uh, enjoyed the video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Give me a like down below. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comment box below as well. If you guys haven't, feel free to subscribe uh, to check out more videos in the future, especially the future uh, Attaball sites coming up. As usual, guys, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.